Andy here to drop some big news on you guys. Training camp started today for the 2021 NFL season. Aaron Rodgers, the 2020 NFL MVP, has sauntered into the team facility Tuesday morning after months of brinkmanship. It was only in June that the Jordan Love era appeared to be underway in Green Bay, but last-minute negotiations that could ensure Rodgers can escape the Packers. Snake Pit, after this season, locked him in for one last ride in Green Bay. Rodgers' redraft ADP is sure to jump in the coming days, along with Devontae Adams and Aaron Jones. Rodgers should be among the first non-rushing QBs off the draft board this summer. And this is the draft board from our recent underdog fantasy draft last Thursday night. By the way, we have got seven spots to fill in this 12-man private league. If you guys want to try and take my money, you want to draft against me, you want to get in a fantasy league with me, leave a comment. Send me an email at ffcarlink at gmail.com or send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know you want to get in this league on Thursday night. It's going to kick off the draft at around 9 p.m. So can you spot Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, or Aaron Jones on this draft board? It can be hard to find, so let me highlight that for you guys from last Thursday night. But last year, Devontae Adams was arguably the first wide receiver taken off the board. We know he has number one wide receiver upside with Aaron Rodgers as QB. Aaron Rodgers will not take until the eighth round of this fantasy draft. And now that this news has come out, as we just saw, we know his ADP is going to go up. We know that Devontae Adams is going to be a big benefactor. So, so we should see Aaron Rodgers at least going in the fourth round. Going back to that year, the, the print runs on these cards are not crazy high, so it's already a pretty scarce card. This is what I call an SP. If you want an SP on SP, go for his Topps Chrome or Bowman Chrome. And they're selling like hotcakes today, 41 sales today alone. Uh, but you've got to think that Devontae Adams has got the most to gain in the coming weeks besides Rodgers himself because last year he was a first rounder. And last year, if you look at his sales chart, on Starstock, this card, his base prism card, got up to $50 for a Starstock A. And that was its peak back in January. I uh, just looking at some recently sold items this morning on eBay. And his ADP, I think, is going to go up. I think we're going to see a bunch of sales occur on Devontae Adams in the coming days and weeks. His Topps Chrome Refractor sold for $19.99 his yesterday. His base prism sold for $17.99 yesterday. And here is an option right here that is uh, 41 watchers, his SP on SP, which is his silver prism selling for $125. So you can see that jump. That's a very scarce card. Um, and here's some very interesting available SP on SP listings I've found on eBay for Devontae Adams right now. His SP on SP print silver prism at $140. And there's a nice little orange refractor and a silver refractor tops chrome lot for $85. I think that is a very interesting deal right there but I, I love the autographs from this year from Devonte adams and this tops chrome autograph card for 75 dollars right here is very sp on sp beautiful card and then looking at the running back situation in green bay aaron jones's adp has got to go up he was also arguably taken in the first round of fantasy drafts last year his adp was definitely higher than it is now and his rookie cards were definitely higher and now with Aaron Rodgers back in the fold, Aaron Jones' ADP and his rookie card value should go up in the coming weeks. And I've just noted some interesting sales from yesterday looking at price points. You got a PSA 9 base optic for $19 or his base prism, which was also silver that year in 2017 for $21. Or his SP on SP, which would have been his silver prism auto is a wonderful example of a 2017 Grail card right here. And that sold for $120 today. ADP draft trend. Uh, I'm going to start pulling this for all the guys, all the players that we're talking about. This uh, little image right here is free, by the way, on play playerprofiler.com. Shout out to Roto Underworld and all the guys over there on that team. They do an incredible job. A very interesting available SP on SP listings I found on eBay for Aaron Jones. Off the bat, the Silver Prism Concourse. Beautiful card. $9.95 buy it now free shipping that's a no-brainer for me and I haven't purchased any of these because I want to share this information with you guys as soon as possible because some of these uh, ADPs are gonna take a week or two to catch up and the hype to catch up and so yeah this tricolor prism BGS 9.5 numbered out of 199 for 150 bucks this lot 
of six prism silvers for $85 or best offer. This silver blue wave auto, a beautiful card, numbered out of 149 with the autograph, $99. I love that one as well. And there's another silver wave, non-auto, but silver wave. It's a, it's a really beautiful, gorgeous card. Numbered out of 149 in the Prism set for $40. I like that SPSP a lot down there. And then another tricolor Prism, but this time it, it is a uh, tricolor wave numbered out of 199, but not great. As you can see, there's a huge price difference. And we know with this card having a pretty decent gem rate, I would personally, I would look at the, trying to get that raw card in an auction for, you know, around 20 to 30 bucks. And of course, never forget the guy who never skips leg day. Here's a couple SP on SP auctions to watch for AJ Dillon. Just a couple cards that I really like. RPA Select, numbered out of 25, and also just a Prism Silver. And, and this one actually happens to be a Silver Disco Autograph Prism. Also another auction. These are both auctions that I'm keeping my eye on to see if they'll end low here in, in the next couple days. And you can see... AJ Dillon's draft position was rising. I think that's going to flatline, and you're going to see an increase in the uh, the receivers. Looking at the wide receiver depth chart on Green Bay, I think we know without a doubt Devontae Adams is going to be the alpha wide receiver, but the number two wide receiver is kind of up in the air. There's a lot of hype with Alan Lazard going into the season last year uh, alongside Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And Marquez Valdez-Scantling has some drop issues in 2019. So in 2020, it, it Lazard was actually got more hype than MVS. But MVS actually ended up having a better 2020 season. Um, he had 63 targets to Lazard's 46, which he converted into 690 yards and six touchdowns, twice as many touchdowns as Lazard uh, for a total of 120 fantasy points, which right now puts MVS's ADP at 176. And so with a guy that had a lot of hype coming into last season, now with Rodgers coming back to the fold, these guys' ADPs are going to go up in the coming weeks. And looking at their athletic profile, you know, at Lazard's athletic profile is not bad. He had a, commanded a pretty good to college target share. He's still pretty young, only 25 years old, um, 6'3", 225. So he's got a pretty big wingspan. He's got a pretty decent height adjusted speed score. And MVS, MVS has got more speed on him. He's 6'4", 206. So he's definitely got the big wingspan as well. Drafted in the fifth round, he's he's 26 and a half years old. Still well under that age apex out of, out of USF actually my my hometown school here uh, he had a pretty decent college yards per reception but you got to think that because of the big deep plays that MVS was able to make last year with Rodgers coming back both of these wide receivers rise in ADP and our rookie card demand this is a great handcuff play as either of them will emerge as the wide receiver two behind Devontae Now, I haven't forgot about Amari Rogers, a 2021 rookie. We'll talk about him in a second. But here are some available SP on SP listings I found on eBay for Lazard and MVS. Lazard, I don't think you need to look any further because these price points are so good than a $30 green Pulsar Silver Prism rookie autograph for $30 or just a Silver Prism autograph for $24.99 and then you look at this auction for MVS it's a silver prism ending in just over a day with an autograph for $4.25 right now uh, but I expect that auction to close at or under where the Lazard price is at on the buy it now just to keep that in perspective and then looking at a, a lot that I found with that's got two silvers in it a five card lot for MVS for $20 out of the select set and then if you're a Green Bay Packers fan or you really want to go for the the ultimate Green Bay Packer collectability factor, I don't think it gets much better than this for Green Bay fans for M of MBS. This is a 2018 Prism Green Hyper numbered out of 275. And this is just an awesome card for $24. Look at that yellow and green on there, that gold and green matching the, that uniform perfectly. And then Amari Rogers is a 2021 draft pick out of Green Bay. Uh, very interesting profile because nothing really jumps off the board from him. You know, he was uh, he's he's five nine. He's 212. 
but he can also serve out of the backfield on jet sweeps, reverses, and other motion action. He was a special teams return specialist. He's a natural in the slot. He comes out of Clemson, drafted in the third round. He's got a really good film study with Trevor Lawrence for his size and athleticism and not really having uh, numbers and stats from college that really jump off the board. I think he runs faster than what this pro day is saying that he runs. He's also more explosive, more elusive. Uh, and this guy's got sneaky upside based on his film study that I just did from his college days in, in Clemson. So he's a really interesting to keep your eye on. His ADP has gone up as well. And I think we'll continue to climb as, as there's a big unknown factor about the 2021 rookies. And so his cards from Chronicles and Prism draft picks are totally, I think, flippable until those rated rookies and, and the optics and the mosaics and the selects and the prisms come out here in 2021 later on in the year. So I've got a would you rather for you guys. Are you ready to play another round of would you rather? And this one comes from the 2016 prism set and two absolute stud first round running back draft picks this year in, in fantasy drafts. And that is, would you rather have an Ezekiel Elliott? We're going to go ahead and say for uh, this argument that the offer was accepted at $75. So would you rather have a Derrick Henry silver prism at $63 or an Ezekiel Elliott silver prism at $75? Considering that the card's in exact same shape, all that kind of good stuff. These were two recent sales I pulled off of eBay and I was just curious to hear what you guys would think. And I have to shout out my boy brad nolan for sharing this image with me um and man this made my day right here because i absolutely love gardner Minshew. the guy's a fighter man he's he is the man all right the mississippi mustache he is not <laughs> i love this in preparation for the competition against trevor lawrence he hasn't taken a shit in weeks because number two isn't an option for gardner and you look at him, man. He looks leaner. He looks meaner. He looks like he's ready to go. And apparently he's having a really great trip, uh, camp. I wouldn't be surprised we see a little uh, Minshew mania on the field this season. You know, Trevor better watch out. That's all I'm saying is Minshew is a fierce competitor and is never going to get stop trying to improve and get better and be more accurate in passing and smarter on the field and the whole nine yards. So, um it's good stuff man it's good stuff all right so dun 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 what's cracking ladies and gentlemen andy here on the scene breaking news from the nfl first day of training camp and aaron Rodgers, our 2020 nfl mvp has showed up for training camp that's right this is big news guys he's very close to nearing a contract extension that will at least bring him back for the 2021 season. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much to everybody who commented, liked, and subscribed because of yesterday's video. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, but no, seriously. Though his career high 9.1% touchdown rate from 2020 is sure to fall a bit in 2021, it was just astronomical, won the MVP hands down. And of course, never forget the guy who skips. 